So welcome everyone uh, to my uh, presentation for LVM2. Um, it will be a very quick one uh, since we have only 50 minutes. Uh, the main motivation for the talk is to present some uh, usage ideas or the common mistakes users are doing and at the end we will also uh, present a couple new features uh, we have introduced in LVM and Hopefully, we'll have some time for questions, um, but you can interrupt any time during the presentation, and if it's related, I will try to answer. So, uh, the common issue is that users are not reading one pages, and we spent quite a lot of time uh, writing them, so we would like that users would be like trying to use this resource. Uh, some of them may not be known, uh, since not all MAN pages are uh, comment related, but uh, you can try to use the MAN uh, LVM dash uh, and tab, and there is a number of topics uh, we provide, so if you want to know anything about uh, rates, uh, video support, uh, thin provisioning, uh, whatever, try it. It's, it's, it's useful and it can be much better uh, source of information than any web page you can find. Um, yeah, since we have all the uh, informations about the commands uh, compiled into the commands, uh, <laughs> you can even try the uh, help or even the dash long help, which will provide a really detailed information about all the com command options, all the syntaxes, and so on. So, again, a very useful thing. Um, yeah, the Built-in tracer is one of the things that users are not uh, using very much, uh, and it's very useful. Uh, so uh, adding the trace options usually helps you to understand what is wrong with your command if it's not working. Uh, so before trying to uh, discord servers, uh, IRCs, and other things, uh, this uh, very simple way can give you a very detailed information what is wrong. And we, we try to make it uh, really human readable. So it should be understandable by uh, standard admin. It, there, is, there are no secret words. And uh, one thing which is worth to mention is that if we um, like um, generate a long um, error message or long trace, and the LVM usually tries to recover from the problem, uh, the end of the message might not be related to the problem, so you just capture the full trace and start to search, for example, for the backtrace keyword, which is typically the first moment when any uh, problem happens. So uh, to see where the problem happens, uh, try to search this word and it will uh, probably be the moment where the uh, LVM starts to uh, fail, or how to say it. Okay, um, then the common uh, conception for LVM is to use raw devices. Like um, we see the users trying to recently use LVM with um, using the storage on top of file systems. Uh, this is uh, like, it works, but uh, you are losing a lot of performance of LVM. So if you are seeking for the performance, try to avoid uh, mixing the stack of devices and try to use the raw devices directly. That's the best uh, advice we can give. Um, we are not really liking to see the usage of VG on top of another VG. This is another, like, not common, but some users uh, tend to use the LVM with this combination, so think twice if you need it. And also loop devices are something which is good for testing, but again, you're going from a block device, file system to block device, and yeah. What about encryption? Uh, I, I would stay out of this topic. It's not the topic for LVM. Uh, LVM is using the encrypted devices, and that's the, uh, in principle raw device. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, the problems uh, users are using uh, 
search advices without thinking, uh, common problem, uh, do, doing the irreversible breakages, which we can then fi fix, uh, cannot fix. Uh, so yeah, think twice, always. Um, they are misusing uh, bugs uh, as a features. Uh, <laughs> so instead of reporting bugs, they put the uh, workflow to their uh, engine, and then they are wondering what happens when we fix the bug. It no longer works. So yeah, it's another problem. Using thin provisioning without the monitoring, not not a good idea if you run out of space. Um, some distributions tend to use their addition of LVM, so it's a bit. Uh, Patches which are not authorized by us, and they are not always making <laughs> LVM better. So, uh, yeah, UDF rules, uh, number of packages tend to slow down things uh, considerably. So, think twice and analyze your system if you need really all the packages installed, since some of them can uh, seriously slow down everything. So, yeah, uh, Always uh, try to be upstream, so uh, fixes are flowing in all, all the time, so upstream is usually uh, the best uh, to try first. Um, yeah. Uh, LVM is not uh, like the greatest AI engine in the world so far, so yeah, not all the settings uh, we use default by default are not the best, so always try to uh, check if there are not better options for you, and yeah. Also, I, I would like to mention that uh, if you are planning to use um, volumes for a long time, think about the maximum potential you can use. So uh, before you start to um, selecting uh, some options for low sizes, think, think big, basically, so yeah. So now some tips and tricks. Um, so LVM shell, which is kind of hidden feature, could be used for uh, in situations when you stream a lot of LVM commands that can save you quite a lot of time, but not sure if the audience here is the uh, perfect target here. Uh, since we, we are really talking, if you are managing like thousands of volumes and you really want to uh, have uh, some, some decent speed. Uh, some unknown or less known uh, options, which can help a great if you are using, for example, the machine processing. So every command in LVM can report the format in JSON, so you really don't need to parse the standard output from LVM. You can get a nicely formatted JSON format via the JSON STD. That's one of the examples where users were using the uh, format which were not compliant to um, standard JSON, uh, and then we have been reported that back, and then we already had a number of instances where we were using this broken JSON, so we need to introduce the, the correct one, and yeah, that's when we uh, think that users should report back immediately instead of uh, like uh, using them. <laughs> um, select, uh, that's another great uh, option. So instead of trying to figure out uh, through the various uh, scripts and shell iterations with AVK, grab, whatever, uh, LVS, LVM can uh, um, or provides an, a feature that you can select uh, LVs by criteria, and uh, there is a dedicated one page. So read it, check it, it will be really useful for, for you. Um, yeah, if you are writing the scripts, the yes option is the generic uh, option to answer yes for all the prompts, uh, but think uh, <laughs> about the consequences that uh, sometimes you may want to not do that. So yeah, especially if you add the option force, that's adding uh, prompts which are not really meant to be used uh, in the scripts, but whatever. Uh, we know that users are doing that, but yeah. Uh, one of the uh, good ideas is to reduce the number of data pages in your system. If you are taking snapshots, um, s um, syncing, uh, uh, I don't know, 10 gigabytes of r RAM of data pages can take a while. So think twice if you need uh, that large uh, memory to be uh, used. Uh, Event.com file is a great uh, place to check for all the possible options. Uh, we even provide a 
configuration command that can list, show differences and so on. Profiles are uh, one of things that can be used for like a very quick um, selection between various uh, setups for caching, thin provisioning, so you can have a um, profile for fast thin provisioning, slow, slow thin provisioning, slow, slow caching, so on. So yeah, take it th as a note. Uh, we cannot really go to details, so we don't have that much time. So uh, another point, ar archiving and backups. Uh, if you need them, uh, use them. If you don't need them and you generate like thousands of updates, uh, every hour, uh, yeah, you can save a lot of time if you will s uh, disable these options. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, physical devices, this is something new we introduced in AVM. Um, we now have devices file. You can select whether you want to prefer to use the filters or devices file. Um, both features have its pros and cons. Uh, devices files are now enabled by default in uh, Fedora and RHEL. Um, there's a configure line how to set it up during the compilation. Um, again, uh, something that the users wanted, at least uh, some of them, uh, that filters were pro had a problem to specify devices path and with devices file you can do it. On the other hand, if you have a lot of uh, devices which are changing, devices file can be a cumbersome as well. So pick pick your poison <laughs> and and uh, scan LVS is an option that allows you to s check or disable uh, if whether you can use your LVS for as a, as a PVs. So again, uh, disabled by default because we think most users don't want to that use that, but yeah, you have you have uh, option. And a uh, couple of words about the recent features. So yeah, thin provisioning uh, has been enhanced with the possibility to use the any LV as a thin. So the conversion happens by making the thin volume uh, thin pool from a uh, from a volume, and up on that you 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 will have your thin LV. So uh, there is no no copying; it's instant and uh, easy to use. External origins, uh, probably something for users of thin provisioning. Um, take a note if you, uh, and ask me later if you want to know details. It's, it's a great topic, but yeah, we don't have time. And uh, yeah, I wanted to also mention that we have a video support now with thin provisioning, so uh, we can probably spend an hour on that. Uh, so as a simple example how to use it, when you create a thin pool, you can just um, add the option uh, pool data video, and that will create your thin pool with de uh, video deduplication and compression. Uh, this feature is still in development, um, so um, you use it at, uh, at <laughs> with some caution. Uh, of course, we will need to add more and more um, support for uh, solving those auto space cases so yeah but I it's it's usable it works and uh, I can uh, like just encourage users to try it and report feedback uh, so we can improve it um, further and as for the last notes um, a recent um, version released of uh, recent released version of LVM uh, has a couple of optimized scanning features uh, faster table preloading and so on. So always try to use the latest LVM first before s you start to report the problems. And uh, that's probably uh, the end of my presentation. And if you wanted to know some more details, you are you have now the time for the questions. Since I think I have like two minutes. Or yeah. So <laughs> Yes. Uh, is there any other way to disable scripts from or prevent scripts from hanging other than like redirecting dev now as standard input? Or is there something like no prompt or batch mode? That's that's the double dash dash q q. That's uh, basically an 
ugly way how to say no, but yeah, it's the <laughs> quiet thing, quiet, quiet uh, version of uh, output, and it will automatically close the. the but in, in, in the short script, it should be detecting that there is no uh, um, standard input open, so it should be automatically recognizing you. You should not be getting the. It should be basically automatically saying no if you don't have the standard input open. It Oh, you should close the standard input. If you don't have one, you should close the standard input. Uh, that's the that's the point. Uh, yeah, uh, if you have standard input open, we expect that there will there can be an uh, something set on the input. So, yeah. So dash dash QQ is yeah. something like dash dash no. Yeah, something something. 